Hello everyone, I'm back, but not in the sense of like another farming video, like I know it's been a couple of weeks since I posted my last one, and that's mainly because I've been working on more uh, earlier farming ideas for topics and stuff to discuss, and one of them we came up was, uh, is Legion more profitable than Battle for Azeroth in the sense of just straight raw farming? Not specific farming, not 4x2 farming, not any other farming, just straight solo farming. And so far, from what I've noticed, out of the two profitable things I can make, one being the Jewelcraft toy, and the other one being the uh, Ironbound Vanquisher, I think the name I got wrong, but I will double check and put in comments if I was wrong. But it's the mount the blacksmiths make, drops from Tychondrius and Nighthold. Um, those on my service sell pretty well. I think the Jewelcraft sells for 15 to 10, 10 to 15 k, I should say. The bank for sure sells about 20. And if that's average, that seems pretty, like, you know, reasonable. But then I was just farming yesterday and today on my warrior, who is mining. And Laystone and Felslate are fairly easy to farm. I mean, the latter being, you know, Laystone's probably easier to farm than Felslate. Um, but that also proves the point that the farming of this is pretty much barren. Uh, I buy Laystone on the market, it's like 2 to 3k, and I'm always just questioning, like, why is it so expensive? I don't think it's just more of just the age of it, I think it's more the fact that no one goes back to Legion to farm. So if you're going to, you know, get crafting professions leveled in Legion, and you came at BFA, uh, jewel crafting and mining, and having an alt with, you know, um, blacksmithing is pretty good, because later on you can get some pretty good item level on your blacksmith. I took a 5 man group to do normal Tychondrius till the map uh, plan spawn. That you can also farm for Transmog if you want to go for it very well. And it kind of dropped for me, like, the first time I went, and I'm pretty sure that it was just for me, but the first time I actually went to go kill Tychondrius on anything but LFR, because I'm not part of a raiding guild, I'm, a, I'm an RP server, I went and got the plans, so I think it's a higher drop chance now than it was originally, and might just be, like, I got lucky, I'd have to go Google that and confirm my suspicions, but as of now, I, I find BFA is, like, you know, profitable in its own sense, you have 32 slot bags, you can easily go farm up to get a bunch, too. Um, the BOEs that drop from the farming method for cloth uh, are really good to sell, I've sold a couple of them in the auction house and made a good chunk of money. The blue rares that spawn, I've seen them go for like, you know, 100, 400k almost. It's it's a pretty it's a pretty niche thing, and it's also a really good uh, sense that the economy is getting a lot more kind of vanilla-esque. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be called out being a non-vanilla player. No, I came in uh, Kata. Um, but with the farming of like BFA and the farming of Legion, I'm getting back into the fact that it's a farm-oriented game. It's like mop farming for everything, and mop took forever, but I liked farming, so I did it for a while. Same with WAD. I farmed for everything in WAD pretty well. And then in Legion, I farmed up nearly everything I needed. Like, I could self-sustain myself without needing to buy anything. Uh, besides maybe some niche things I didn't have at the time, and you know, uh, with that said, I didn't even spend money on it, I just waited for the blood trader to come by, and then I spent a oodles amount of, uh, Blood of Sargeras just to level up my blacksmithing on my main tune, which is my DK, to get the ability to make the higher tier stuff, and obviously I, I, I didn't sell much of it, I sold it to maybe people who asked for it, but I always gave it to friends, so, yeah, I, I, as, on the topic of Legion still, I think it is more profitable in BFA at the moment, but I might be wrong. This might be just me spending shit on my ass. But if you consider the fact that where Suomar is now, with the route I take, which is just a loop around Suomar, uh, usually gets me like 100 to 200 uh, Laystone and maybe like 40 to 50 Fell Slate. That's a pretty like fast farm, even when you get Legion Mining, just put on your gloves. I mean. There's no really limit to where you can do it. Hell, I would have done it on my legendary gloves if it didn't let me do it on um, my current gloves I'm wearing. But you have to remember that um, it's uncontested, so you can go around getting all that done. And with that said, 
people only really show up in areas that have the world quests for the emissary caches in order to get paragon mounts. And that's another thing that people kind of just navigate away from is if like an area is contested like an invasion is there or a emissary quest is there to get all the things you want. It's not really that bad. So if you hear that, that's just a video my brother sent me, and I thought it was a important text message. Um, but like you see, there's a dude there, like, he's 110, he probably doesn't own BFA, and he's just probably doing, you know, things for world quests. But you go back and think about how many people just stay in Legion, or just don't buy the expansions when they drop. And then you have to remember that people do, and it shows. So with Legion being like completely exclusive to barely anyone, and everyone's just able to be here and farm it to its content, you'd think you'd see more people contesting over the faster farms, i.e. this little farm that I still use could still probably work really well getting Obliterum, but Obliterum is useless now unless you can count the for fact that you need Obliterum for your Order Hall thing. I think all of older halls need obliterum, obliterum. I don't know. My English is bad. But still, like I think Legion would be a nice topic to farm for because it's one of the things of it's easy to understand where you farm them to. And I mean, farming rep for Legion um, in Suramar is a good thing because it gets you your class order hall set, and everyone wants your class order hall set, not for the bonus, but for the set. Um, I, I, although I would exclude the Death Knights. The Death Knights uh, class order hall set is atrocious, so don't go with it, please. Thank you. It's a DK man. It was really sad seeing that set. But farming with Suomar in mind is very easy. It's very linear. It's very flat. Uh, there's little mountains and stuff, but they're more like just cliffs. And they're not really important to um, deal with. Especially because Legion flying is such a easy thing to obtain if you're still low level. And if you're not low level, uh, with Suomar being so flat, you can easily just grab the enchantment to drop the uh, thing you want. Uh, the high mountain one for ores, or the one from the wardens if you want jewel crafting. Um, is it jewel crafting? No, it's not the wardens one. It's the one in Azuna. Um, you can get that done and get a high value intake of just driving around mining ore or gathering herbs for that matter and going through the entire process of just getting what you want done for that expansion and with the Suramar quest chain being fairly easy to access and among other things <clears throat> and the increased rep gain for any of the faction races i.e. I think the update for Void Elf, Nightborn, Lightforge, Draenei, and the High Mountain Torn, so you can get Exalted with them faster. <coughs> in order to get the Allied Races, I don't know if it was made for the uh, High Mountain Torn and the uh, Night Nightborn, but I, I think the Lightforge, Draenei, and the Void Elves. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. But you go over to, let's say, Legion, and go to, like get the allied races there and the allied races for BFA. It's probably about the same unless you go for Lightforge. I'm going on a tangent again. I guess I'm doing that. Uh, but yeah, the Suomar farm is enjoyable. Um, I've gotten a lot of ore over the past like three or four days just constantly just going around the same circle over and over again doing the uh, Infernal Brimstone daily when it's up. It's not up at the moment. It was up yesterday. And going through that was, you know, pretty simplistic. You just go and kill the guy and mine him. And you kind of fly around, you just go like, ooh, it is a little laystone deposit. You will get this. And then on the map you see there's another laystone deposit back here, and you just go up to the thing and mine it. And it's just very, very relaxing. Oh, and these guys spawn. These guys are great, they gave me extra life stone. And I'm converting this all into a jewel craft, and I'm only... I, I need three out of everything 
and I think I have everything except for three out of the specific Donbright and the other one whose name I can't remember. <sighs> Bad at remembering names. No, I need two Donbright and one more Padamont. Mat, mat, padamint, padamint, padamint. Sounds like a fucking Steam Universe uh, fusion. Um, but going with that, it's an expensive toy, as I was saying. It's 15k, uh, mounts like, you know, 20, 30k. As I said, if it's different on your server, please let me know. If it's more expensive on your server, good for you. If it's not, um, I have a video coming out talking about another good, qu another not so quick, but very worth it farm for money. Uh, if you have alts to do it. But, um... That's gonna be a video for maybe next week. Or maybe tomorrow if I have time. And I just wanted to get a quick video out. Just as a discussion video. More or less saying that I'm still not dead. And I have been reading comments uh, to add to that. And people say that my old farm uh, that got a lot of views, thanks, um, was nerfed. And I went and double-checked it. And it seems like it was nerfed slightly but i can't tell it's more or less just not a practical farm it's more of just a really low contested uh, farming spot that you can grab when there's no 4x2s or there's nothing else to do it's a nice casual farm uh, it's really good it's a very simplistic farm uh, i still I, I had plans on making a video on how to farm that properly because even though people are high geared uh, the lower people who are lower geared might just want to have a niche to do it so a really good thing I'm going to talk about in that video is Last Defender. Hallelujah, praise the sun, that talent's broken, please don't nerf Blizzard, thanks. But that's all I was going to discuss for the day, the farm, the views, and I'm enjoying the fact that people are viewing my content. You know, negative or positive. I plan on remaking the uh, skinning video, because I didn't like the quality, how it turned out, it kind of wasn't, you know, coherent. Like this, this is just, you know, just an uncoherent video of just me rambling about things, but, eh. Getting these out kind of makes me feel more like I'm getting stuff off my chest, almost. And if people come by and listen and enjoy the fact that it's just a wholesome video of me talking about farming and, you know, how I farm is the most casual casual in the world. And if you hate the word casual, I'm sorry, but I am the casual casual in this world. Uh, and we just I just play the games for fun, and I enjoy farming for everything. Farming is just something I enjoy doing. I mean, hell, I have, like, almost 350 hours in the Borderlands. Now, there's much as some people, but I have a lot of hours in the Borderlands. But that's just not my PC, not my PlayStation, and not my PlayStation 2. At 3, I should say. But other than that, that's probably all for this video. I might make another one later about, you know, a route that I take for farming in Suramar. And I'll probably make that after this. So, you know... Stay tuned for that, and uh, thanks for watching.